Yep, 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 the camera's going everywhere. Hi. <laughs> um, how's it going, everyone? My name is Dave, and welcome to another video. So, I haven't done a vlog where it's kind of like a journal entry type vlog in a while, so I'm going to do another one today. This one's going to be specifically surrounding uh, my day job at Kuru Footwear, where I actually just got the first review from my dad, aka my boss now. I, a lot of people have said that's weird. I can talk about that in a different video, though. Why I don't think so. In any case, um, the review was actually... There are things... It told me some things that I was expecting to hear. Um, I, I, a lot of it came out the way like I had expected. Very efficient. Very uh, fast. Always. Fantastic things to hear. Especially when you're like getting it from like shift leads and managers who are saying it this is what my dad was telling me i'm just passing out a message on this because you know again this is more like a journal type vlog for today that being said though there are some flaws like always i am willing to admit that i do have flaws one when it comes to a job is the amount of talking that i do and that's kind of the one i wanted to focus on in this video there was another one but i don't think it's really worth bringing up uh, or really talking about. I just don't find it really necessary, I guess. Anyway, so the talking, for me specifically, there was a point in time where I wouldn't do very much talking unless absolutely necessary. However, around the time when I had my first job, later in a time range where I had that job, I actually did start doing so. But it was out of stress, kind of a stress reliever. Like, I would try to discuss things amongst others to try to make keep myself from getting down. Which at a point I did. I got very, very, very down and people started t discussing things amongst me. I started being a bit open. At the time, I wasn't as much of an open person as I am now. But... I wasn't very talkative as much either. I'm not saying I wasn't a talkative person. You bet your bottom dollar, I probably was. But there was a point in time where I was super shy as well. And this is kind of where that came to an end. The talking... It's something that just kind of kept me from getting down. I would discuss things amongst managers, coworkers, just to keep my, my mind from going down a very bad path, from discussing things that I really shouldn't discuss on the clock. Personal life stuff, for example. I had a lot going on back then. Not the same type of a lot that I have going on now when it comes to personal life. In fact, very different. But nonetheless, I still had a lot going on. And I knew I wasn't allowed to bring it up. I kept quiet. But eventually, people could tell that there was something wrong. Approached me, and I started talking more frequently with them to the point where it was more like kind of a friendship team rather than what most places look at it as when it comes to retail and fast food. And that's kind of the first job I had, which shouldn't be much of a surprise to anybody. Now, I loved the job. I just didn't like the personal life stuff at the moment. I tried to keep it out, but when people approached me, that's where I was like, you know what? Talking to others may definitely helps a lot. So I started putting myself in the habit of talking with people a lot, and it did help. For the most part. Because there were some circumstances, like the negative attribute that I'm talking about in this video, where people would be like, you really need to tone down the talking, you need to shut up. Or to tone it down, not talk it up. Not talking at all can lead to the mindset of, yeah, there's something wrong. But talking too much can be aggravating and distracting. I've never been good at finding that mid-ground on anything. That, um, that's another flaw that I have that kind of led to this particular flaw that I'm talking about in this video. Is it on me? Yeah, obviously. Do I need to improve? Yes, but... It, I'm just, I guess the point of this video is just like, it didn't come from nowhere. I don't know. 
That's number one of what's happened so to, to this point, uh, blo kind of a journalistic wise, I guess. I'm probably going to start putting up a playlist separate. Talks about journals. It'll still show the usual two playlists on the side of my heads at the end of the video, the about me and the discussion and rants, because those are way more intuitive. Nonetheless, I still feel like I should put up a playlist for these journals. At least starting from this one. I don't remember which other one I did that was like kind of a journal type thing, because I don't do these very often. Anyway, I digress. Other than the thing with a job, I have been working on a specific project for the platform. What, you thought the whole thing was going to just be negative stuff? This vlog, I also kind of wanted to kind of remember this kind of thing. I've been inspired by many YouTubers, and one of them stands to be Gerard the Completionist where he completed, he's been completing games for years now, five, six, seven years maybe, eight actually. I think as of this year, it hits nine, eight, 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 eight and a half. I think it was like eight and a half years as of right now, as of this recording, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know, he's been doing it for a long time. He was one of the people who stood out and made me want to actually start 100%ing games, like the Zelda games that I've played, these, and attempt games that I never have. Like this one. However, you know, not all of them get 100% completed. I'm not personally the completionist, but some of them I love completing. However, there is one in particular that I've been trying to complete that's taking a long time to do and took him a thousand hours. It took Gerard a thousand hours to beat it. In my mind, I'm like, you know what? I want to give it a shot. See if I can give it a different ideal ranking or a different type, a better or a worse review than what was provided, which is a potential product that I'd like to get started on. Will I do it? I don't know. Why don't you guys let me know if you'd like to see something like that, kind of review content. I am working on a different type of review right now anyway, based off of a book that I got a while ago that I'm trying to, it's one of those things where I read the book once, some things I didn't pick up on, so I need to read it a couple more times but do, before doing any kind of review, if I do a review. I want to, but I want to nitpick every detail in the story down to the dot kind of thing. This is something that I've really, and I might as well show off the book itself. Uh, been out for a while, I think it's been about a half a year, if not a little bit more. Where is it? I think I put it on the top shelf. Yep, I see it. <sighs> so, a while ago, I bought uh, this book. I've been trying to take very good care. You can barely see the creases on the side because of how well I'm trying to take care of this book. Um, but, The Warmth of Snow by... Alicia M. Shepard. Artwork is really beautiful on this, so kudos to Diego Shepard for that one. Either way around, though, I have read through this maybe two or three times, and there's still some things that I'm trying to nitpick. Most people don't do this, and some people are probably just out there are probably just going, it's not that hard. It's straightforward. I'm the kind of person who likes to get every single possible detail, even if they're kind of just, oh gee, I wonder how would, how this, why this person would have reacted, or what caused this in the out, the grander scheme of things, like that kind of thing. I don't know. If I do eventually finish this and I'm still in the desire to do a review for it, I will. I am enjoying it so far though. Very much so. I mean, I don't know. Other than that, though, that's pretty much that bit of this vlog. I'll do one more thing that I want to talk about, and then it'll be that. So, financially, this is going to be the last thing I've talked about. I have been striving to try to help myself save. To the point where my boss, a.k.a. my dad, um, I actually went to him and said, Hey, can we uh, shift the, dire like, the direct deposit statements that we do? 
into where he has a he helps me save he uh, keeps an eye on the account that I use to help me save I don't have a card for it or anything um, he keeps me posted on how much it's on the account in fact he pretty much has full control over it at my request um, Now, it's not particularly, it's not the, I forget the term, maybe I'll remember at some point, but it's not um, right of attorney, that's what it was. It's not that, because if that was the case, he'd have full control over all my money, but he doesn't. I made an agreement with him financially a little bit ago. When I I did start this job, but I didn't bring it up when I did start. When I did start, but one thing I agreed with him on is like, why don't we balance out how much goes to me, and how much goes into the savings account? Which the savings account also holds the amount that I use to pay bills. I was actually also talking that. So right now, the phone that I am using to record is actually technically owned by him. I actually approached him and said, hey, I would actually like to at least start paying my own for at least this one thing. Still in the works. I'm not doing it yet. It's kind of sad because to me because I am 26 years old at the current point in time, and I'm still not paying for like a phone bill or anything. And I, it's like 80 bucks, which even from the money that I get for side stuff that I can spend on whatever with, I still get enough on that. And that's like, Bear in mind, that's 25% of what I get. 25% of what I get still gives me enough to pay for that phone bill and still have like $50 left over afterwards. No, 40, a little less than $40, which does tell me one thing on that front. I know I'm able to. I think I just have to get into proper habit and I'm only asking, a lot of people go, I don't want to use anybody's help, but personally, I need it. Knowing my mindset, I need it. What am I going to do? Admit the truth. I am willing to do that. In fact, the first thing that I brought up in this video, the whole flaws thing for the job, I actually said this to my dad as we were talking about it. He confronted me and said, well, they did say you had these flaws. And specifically that one that I talked about here. I'm only going to bring up that one in this because the other one is kind of you know, kind of irrelevant as much, in my opinion, just because I'm more control on that anyway over time. In any case, I, I think... I don't know. I have a lot to work on. I have a lot to improve on. I always stand by this for the phrase, the, and many people have heard this phrase, what I'm about to say, there is always room for improvement. Always. I don't know, say at some point, um, the shift lead who was talking to my dad about how I was doing tells him, oh, fantastic, there are no flaws. If I heard them say that, I'd go, that is bull crap. That's not true. There is always something to improve on, even if it's not the things that were stated before. Fine, yes, I talk a lot. I need to work on that. I know that. But I do have psychological reason for it. If you want to call it a reason. I wouldn't really call it an excuse because it's not me trying to find nitpick towards things. It's literally me taking facts from the past and saying it led to this. A constant subconscious decision. That's I look at that as reason. Logistical, psychological reason. Those who look at it numerically won't see it that way. Those who look at it from a spiritual angle probably wouldn't see it that way. It, you, depending on the person would depend on whether you understand this or not. Not many people do. Of everyone, of the hundreds of people I've met in my lifespan, maybe thousands at this point, maybe four or five of them would understand what I'm trying to say. Although, it is what it is one way or the other. I have some flaws I need to correct. And I do have some projects I need to work on. I actually have one project that I'm working on for the Life Adventures of Christian on the side that has to actually do with Mario Maker. It's a troll level. He kind of wanted me to do this. The funny thing about it is that it's not partially done. That's another thing I need to keep, uh, keep blogging about, too. That's the last bit of this whole journal blog I'm going to do today. Um, if you liked this, 
Make sure to push that like button, and so far you can't, oh my god, where's the camera? There it is. So far you can't see it anymore. I can't even see the camera, because I'm using my phone. That's so different. If you really like this kind of stuff, the journaling, the journaling rather than random vlogs, uh, consider subscribing to the channel, but either, either way around, whether it's just normal vlogging, discussion and rants about me, or journals like this one, once every day, guaranteed. I probably shouldn't say guaranteed for that, but I do it very frequently. At least I try to do it once a day. In the meantime, though, I'm going to head off. I've got these projects i got to work on. They're kind of side things. They're not ne necessary, but I want to work on them anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you guys in another one. Bye for now.